Hi everyone, Julia here recording this. I think it's uh, May 17th, 2023. And man, how programmed are we in so many ways? I mean, from relationships to jobs to, to just uh, surviving in the system that's set up called society or culture and they got it all messed up in every respect man like for instance relationships and what um, we're fed in our minds on how they evolve and play out so backwards I mean of course Physical attraction and sex are the primary beginnings of relationships in our culture, in our society. And of course, people go straight to sex, often having children and neglecting them and abusing them. And voila, we have what we have now, today's society. And with all its hang-ups and all its mental issues and physical issues, it's just so messed up. Because most people in relationships just trauma bond after the initial physical attraction wears off. If they stay together, it's because of trauma bonding most of the time. You see very few couples that have been together a long time that really, you know, love each other and get along. Most people that I know that have been together a long time, they just argue and bicker all the time. And they're familiar with each other. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say they're content, but they're just familiar, so they stick with it. And it's a tricky situation because we all want a partner. But the thing is, we need to all be partners for each other. I think that's why subconsciously or unconsciously I went for this whole community situation because you basically have platonic partners. You know, people to help you along. You know, in the day-to-day -day activities. And just be there for you. Have that company. But, um, you know, you don't have that whole attachment that people get when they have those intimate, significant others. Their partners. And then you have all kinds of issues going on there. And yeah, you know, just how sex is pushed so much, you know, right up front. And it's really a sacred act. And it should be the woman that decides if and when. And it shouldn't, you know, that's a whole other topic there. And I'm not an expert on it, but I know the way it's set up and the way it's... Uh, pushed for young people to go straight to it, you know. Uh, it's not benefiting anyone. So, that's just one aspect where things are very messed up. Having jobs where we go work for someone else and make them rich just so we can get by. And some people barely get by. And some lots of people are in debt. They have credit debt. And how messed up is that? Why should we have to pay to live? And we way overpay. People don't realize how little you really need if you just become a minimalist and get back to basics. And, uh, 
work something out. Communities are great because you share everything, including costs, theoretically. <laughs> theoretically, anyway. But it always all works out. Um, yeah, just to go into these jobs, to work, to pay the rent, to hopefully retire one day and have a few years where you don't have to work. And you still probably won't be able to pay rent with most people's social security. And um, might still have to work. And you can probably watch a little more TV if you want. <laughs> After you're 62 or 67, whenever you decide. Yeah, it's just sad and ridiculous. And I uh, hope more and more people are catching on and getting out of that system. And I think most people want to get in relationships to fill voids because they want somebody to love them since they don't like who they are. And that's how I was. And it never worked out. And even if you stay in one of these toxic relationships, it still doesn't always work out to the best interest of the parties. And here's my, here's Buddy, this dog, he's like part goat. Do you see where he just came down? That's like 88 degrees angle there. Buddy, you are cray cray. Biggie really enjoys Buddy. We all miss Cosmo. But yeah, so we get in these relationships, and some of us stay in them, and they're toxic, and they are they just torture us, and we just stay. We get in these jobs, and they're toxic, and they're dehumanizing, and they're soul training, and we stay in them, because that's what you do. That's what people do, so we just do it. Man, it's time to uh, take charge here and make the most of this existence, which is amazing. You know, our intentions modify future probability. We literally can manifest things, just like this land that I'm living on was just manifested for us to come live on it. And uh, we can, you know, do our inner work, our shadow work, our emotional healing work. And again, there's an emotional healing playlist on this channel, as well as the Loth workshops that will get you right to it. And learn to accept and like who we are and reprogram ourselves. So that is the case. And then we can move on with a good frequency, with a good vibration. And uh, then we'll have good intentions, you know. Our intentions won't be selfish and to fill voids. It'll be to help others and to help others thrive and have fulfilling lives. And that's what we want to do here. That's what I want to do, you know, get this food forest going. We should have food forest everywhere. The whole world should be a food forest. And uh, offer retreats. You know, people can come detox and eat all fruit. Or they can come do emotional healing work. Again, I'm not... <clears throat> I'm no longer going to, like, make that a requirement. For people to uh, be in the community. However... If you don't do any inner work, you will get triggered, <laughs> especially by me. I'm really good at that, but uh, that has to be everyone's decision. We do we do have a vetting process to come to the community, but um, I'm not going to try to push anyone into any type of inner work if they don't if they're not ready for it. it doesn't work that way nothing works that way you can't make anyone do anything it has to be everyone's decision 
So, but highly recommended. The sooner the better. You do some simple modality like language lessons of the heart. The better your life will be. You can start taking charge and directing it the way you want it to go. So yeah, we just got to get away from these social norms. And you know, they want us just to spend all our money making the billionaires that we work for even richer. Buying crap we don't need. When, you know, there's so many better things we can do with it. While we still have to use that system. And everybody thinks that some big event, occurrence is going to happen and everything's going to change. And it probably will, I don't know. But um, you want to be in the right place when that happens and be self-sustained if possible, as much as possible. I don't really plan because uh, I never have, never been an insurance person or planned for catastrophes. I just always know it'll work out because things always work out. Things have always worked out. When I think things aren't going to work out, they work out. That's just how it works here. So yeah, this is just an amazing reality. And uh, we need to grab it by the horns and mold it to what we need to be in services of others as much as possible and to um, yeah get this right thrive thrive in this existence don't just survive we need to thrive all right everyone thanks for listening hope you have a good morning afternoon or evening wherever you are remember to stay focused on what you want and help others if you can. And if you'd like to make a donation to our community, information is in the description. Ciao, ciao.